I'm broadcasting in the blind from a one-room motel room just outside of Chicago. This message is mostly for the Occupy Wall Street U.S. Day of Rage participants. Of course, it's a given that you will remain peaceful. There's already been some agent provocateurs. Actually, that's a fancy word for saying smart asses on the web and trolls who have demanded violence out of this group that is forming in New York as we speak. Don't let them bait you. Just because some idiot can turn on a PC does not mean that they have the wisdom of the ages. I know I should talk, right? But you have to remember, I've got the right to talk. I was there when this began. Globalization has given rise to global revolution. Peaceful, quiet, nonviolent. And why is nonviolence so important? Well, put it this way. On September 11, 2001, almost 3,000 people died in the United States in a reprisal against globalization. And since then, hundreds of thousands have died in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in revenge for those attacks. Now, there are those who say that the U.S. government had something to do with that attack. It's not something I particularly want to bring up here. I will, however, cite something I read from Morris Berman back a few years ago in Dark Ages America, where he said that, in his opinion, that the government of the United States knew something was going to happen and simply turned a blind eye to it. And why should they do this? Because the same banksters that don't give a damn as they play the market to rip off people like you, people like me, don't care how many lives are lost as long as they are safe and they make their millions. And as one gentleman out of England pointed out in a recent speech, if you and I were to walk into a bank and rob it, we would be doing hard jail time. These guys play with the marketplace to steal what is not theirs, and they are rewarded for it. The system and most of you know it by now, is broken and needs to be addressed. And if you're wondering why I am sitting here in this one room hotel room outside of Chicago rather than being in New York, it's because while I do work and I do take care of those who I am responsible for. I am also very broke. This is Cliff Potts, Occupy Wall Street. On this U.S. Day of Rage, may your God go with you. Bye-bye for now. We need to fight this one inane idea. And that idea is that we are owned by the corporations. Right. No, we are not. Yeah. Yeah. Now we are in this for the long haul. Some of us for life. We played by their rules. And they're the ones that broke the rules. Now, we play it our way. 
Some say this is not a democracy. To that opinion, I say so be it. Some others say that only the rich should have the voice. To that opinion, I say so be it. I say we change those rules, if they're rules at all. I say we start anew. I say we march forward as we have today. We march forward to a new future, whatever that future may be. I say we rewrite those rules to serve all of us. Let us write the new rules based on what we know about human beings and what their needs are. Let us write the new rules based on solid science. Let us write the rules that uphold life, dignity, and promote what is good for all the people in the United States. Thank you. I now turn it back over.